Hey everybody, it's Ryan here with the Damon Sells Homes team at Cobalt Banker. I hope that you and your loved ones are enjoying all the extra time that we're getting at home these days with uh, everything that's happening surrounding COVID-19. Uh, you know, I've been staying home a whole lot more, spending time with Brooks and my wife. Um, hope you've been enjoying that time. Now, pretty much every conversation that I've had with, with people over the last week or two, uh, the question of how is this affecting the real estate market has come up. So as a team, uh, we are getting ready to issue uh, this flyer that you see below is actually going to be a, a one page um, in a upcoming publication. So I wanted to shoot you a PDF of it just to give you an overview of what's happening in, uh, in the real estate market and how we're handling it. Uh, one of the things that uh, I want to make known to everybody is that we are still open for business. You know, people still have to buy and sell homes during this time. And as of now, everything that we need to have open in order to do that is open. Courthouses are open, lenders are open, title companies are open. And as long as they can record those uh, deeds and mortgages at the courthouse, then uh, we can continue to conduct closings. Um, so what does this mean for, for the market as a whole? What does this mean for if you're a buyer or if you're a seller? Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. So if you follow real estate, you've known that the past few years and specifically the last few months to a year or so have been very low inventory. Um, it seems as if, if a home was priced well and in good condition, there were two, three, four, five plus buyers for every house on the market. So um, there are a number of buyers that we've seen that are that don't have to buy right away that are kind of setting this one out and being safe and staying at home um, and waiting waiting until things are uh, different to go back out there. But people that that need to buy and sell are still are still out there conducting business. And so maybe instead of three or four or five house offers for every house, we're seeing um, you know maybe one or two. Uh, for each house. And that's uh, that's a little bit more of a balanced, uh, stable market. So, you know, sellers have been a little bit spoiled these past couple of years um, where you put your house on the market, you get blasted with showings and, and we get multiple offers um, if we do the things uh, to, to get the home ready to make it appealing to most buyers that was happening. So now homes are not selling quite as quickly or with quite as many offers. Uh, but homes are still appreciating um, for buyers. Um, you know, the interest rates have been a roller coaster the last week or two, but they are uh, and remain historically low. Um, have had several clients lock in interest rates in the threes this this week, um, low to mid to high threes, uh, somewhere in that range, depending on the loan program that you're that you're doing. Uh, so it's a great time to buy a home still. Um, one of the things that we're doing for sellers is you know, expecting fewer people to want to venture out of the house. We're doing 3D uh, virtual reality uh, photo shoots. So uh, it's a really cool technology. I can tell you more about it. But basically, uh, you can be sitting at home. You can do it on your phone or on your laptop. But I think it's coolest if you have virtual reality goggles. Uh, you can walk through a home as if you're right there standing inside of it. Um, really pretty neat. So if you like, uh, I can send you a link to uh, one of our recent listings that has uh, one of those photo shoots. So buyers, we can do that. Um, I have been showing some buyers houses in person. Uh, we're being very careful following social distancing. I'm bringing um, uh, gloves with me to showing so that I can be the one that touches the lockbox, opens the door, um, and turns on, on and off all the lights and closes doors if needed. But if the home is occupied, um, we've been asking people to leave the lights on and all the doors open for us so we don't have to touch anything as we walk through so we can all remain safe. Um, so that's one thing that we're doing to keep everybody safe. Um, the other thing that I'm happy to do as well is do um, virtual tours through FaceTime um, or recording video inside of properties to send to you if you don't want to uh, come out of the house and you really need to be um, shopping for a home. Happy to help with that as well. And um, you know, we're and then on the seller side, like I mentioned, we're doing 3D tours. Professional photography is now more important than, than ever. And, um, you know, we are we are pulling out all of the stops uh, to, to make it as easy as possible for, for folks. We're advising our sellers to do the same thing. Uh, we have uh, one house I just put on the market yesterday 
They're leaving all the lights and uh, and doors open, leaving out one pair of gloves um, in case the, that agent or the buyer wants to put them on, um, and just uh, advising people to leave their hands in their pockets and to not touch anything. And um, you know, because we all want to keep each other safe, we're all in this together. I understand that, but um, working from home a lot more these days. This is my home office, and uh, and uh, only venturing out when I have to. Uh, but the Damon Sells Homes team and I were here to continue to provide great value and service for you, and to um, go out there. And you know, today is March 26th. Um, all of this has been evolving very rapidly, so everything I've said is applicable right now. Think things might change and have been changing on a daily basis. So, you know, we'll see. One of the other things that that we're doing is, if you look on the on the uh, PDF below, is helping uh, protect our clients contractually when they are buying houses. So, had a couple of clients go under contract this week, and we included some extra language in the contract to prevent, you know, what what we might call force majeure uh, or or any unpredictable events that may be caused by COVID-19. So that way our clients are not held in default of the contract if they can't close on time by no fault of their own uh, or meet other contract deadlines. So we're here to protect you, your health, but also to protect you legally um, in, the, uh, in your purchase or sale of real estate. If there's any way I can help you, please let me know whether or not it's real estate related. You know, Cynthia, my wife and I, uh, we, are, we are happy to um, provide help in any way we can to those folks who need it. Um, if you are elderly or ha have a pre-existing condition that would make you more susceptible, um, you know, we love to love our neighbors. So um, anything you need, just let us know. All right. If you have any other questions, you can reach me at 703-915-5990. Reply to this email. Or if you're really brave, I would love to get a video back. You can click the link to reply with a video above. All right, have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.